Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I've got this little footer area that has a copyright date, but what I want to do is find a way to update that really quickly. And even if you don't know anything about JavaScript, you can do this in three lines of JavaScript. Now I've got this HTML code over this way, CSS code here. This is all we have so far on the page. What we're going to do is add three lines of JavaScript to update that dynamically. Now, if you're using something like WordPress or some kind of dynamic like PHP backend or something, you can pretty quickly do this with PHP or something like that on page load. But I use a lot of static site generators. And so, uh, you know, I have to rebuild the site to update anything on the site. So what I've opted for instead is some JavaScript that basically dynamically runs on the page and will update that year for the user whenever they load the page. So let me show you how to do it. All right, first of all, we need to do a few things. We need to grab this current year ID. And so the way you do that in JavaScript is you say const current year is what we'll call this is equal to, and then you say document, which is the window or the, the page itself, dot query selector, which is a way of selecting something on the page. And in quotation marks here, you just put current year, which is the ID. Because it's an ID, I put that pound sign there that will grab the ID of this little span right over this way. All right, next we'll come down here and say const, uh, let's see, that wasn't current year. Let's say, let's call this year span and let's call this current year. This will be equal to new. This is a keyword in JavaScript and then you can pass it something. And in this case, we're gonna pass it new date. Now I can take this here and let's copy this down in console, log this. And if I save it and pull up the console this way, uh, you'll see it's giving me an actual object date here, and it's giving me my exact time and uh, date. Now, what we want to do is just to get the year. But let's go ahead and take that year span that we have, and we're going to update the dot inner text, which is the text inside of that span tag. We're going to update it by saying it's now going to be equal to current year, which is our new date, dot get full year, just like that. Now, this is an actual method that lives on dates. And as you see already, CodePen has saved it and it's already updated it to 2021. So whenever somebody, come, somebody comes to your page, it will automatically generate this date and insert it inside that year span. All right, I'm gonna leave this code pin in the description if you have questions. I know this is a really short video and a kind of a beginner video, um, but I'm trying to kind of mix it up and do a few things from kind of beginner to intermediate. Well, thanks so much for watching. Happy coding, and I'll catch you in the next one.